in Psalm 67. In this devotional called Loving Truth, we've been working through several of the Psalms. Now we're starting out with 67. The introduction says it's for the choir director, so we know it's designed for worship. It's a song and a psalm. Interesting that those two words are together. In my mind, they kind of mean the same thing. But this is a psalm to be accompanied by stringed instruments. Sometimes it talks about a harp or a lyre. Sometimes it talks about the mikcam or miktam. And I'm not even sure what those are. Most scholars have no idea. But it has something to do most likely with the way it's played, lost to us in history gone by. In this psalm, we have verse 1 where the psalmist talks about mercy. It's a short psalm of only seven verses, but there's an interesting division. I would divide this psalm simply like this. God bless us. And then secondly, God bless them. <laughs> uh, the word us is found in verse one, and then again at the end. So verse one, may God be merciful and bless us. May his face smile with favor upon us. That sounds very much like the Aaronic blessing taken from Numbers uh, chapter 6. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious to you, give you peace. It's all about may God bless you. And, and that's a personal focus, and that's good. He picks it up again in the end, verse 6. The earth will yield its harvest, and God our God will richly bless us. Yes, God will bless us, and people all over the world will fear him. So uh, the people that God blesses, verse 6, are God. They're the people of God. And obviously the one writing the psalm is talking about worshiping God. So God bless us, a legitimate focus. And I'm sure in your prayers, when you pray, you're saying, Lord, bless me. Lord, forgive me. Uh, Lord, save me. Lord, lead me. Lord, help me. We're asking for God's blessing. But the middle of the psalm, from verse 2 all the way through verse 5, mentions the nations or the whole world or the peoples nine different times. So after he talks about God blessing them, he says, verse 2, may your ways be known throughout the earth your saving power among the people everywhere. May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. Not just some, but every nation. Let the whole world sing for joy because you govern the nations with justice and guide the people of the whole world. And then there's a selah. Pause and think of that. Ponder it. Verse 5. May the nations praise you, O God. Yes, may all the nations praise you. So verse 3 and verse 5 are like a chorus repeating the same thing. We've noticed that in several of the Psalms. He's asking that God will bless the nations, that the nations will turn into worshipers, that indeed they will know his power, that indeed they will sing his praises, that they will understand that he governs the world and he guides everyone. May the nations praise you. Let all the people praise you. This is a missionary psalm. It's a great psalm to be used in the midst of a mission conference, or if you just want to understand the fact that true enjoyment of God always issues forth or naturally leads to mission. Remember the Abrahamic blessing? We talked about the Aaronic blessing, that's for the personal focus. The Abrahamic blessing is for a global focus. This is Genesis chapter 12. Now the Lord had said to Abraham, get out of your country, from your family, from your father's house, go to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you, Abraham. I will make your name great and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Simply put, I will bless you, Abraham, so you can be a blessing to the world. 
all the families of the earth, verse 3, Genesis 12, shall be blessed. It's, it's not right for believers to take all the blessings of God, hoard them to themselves, and forget about a lost world. Our praise to God naturally leads to mission. When God blesses us, it's so we can bless others. Let's pray. Father, give us that global focus and help us to understand that you have saved us so that we might encourage others to be saved. You bless us so we can be a blessing to those around us. So people may know that the God of heaven lives and the God of heaven is good and he longs to bless all his people. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.